Eduardo from sunny San Jose. It has been the second day of the F8 conference today. Uh, yesterday in his uh, keynote, Mark has been proactively addressing the uh, elephant in the room, talking about the uh, sovereignty of elections, uh, fake accounts and uh, data privacy. And then moved on to keep us all focused on what's ahead, why Facebook is building the products they do build, uh, focusing there on creating meaningful relationships and meaningful communities and then highlighted a couple of products that Facebook will be launching over the next couple of weeks to, to contribute to this goal. Um, dating has been one of them, several VR and AR features that we're going to see and also improvements to existing services like WhatsApp and uh, Instagram, of course. Though gaming in the context of the keynote has only been addressed for 30 seconds out of this two-hour talk, the most relevant announcement um, was actually that the review process is open again. Uh, in the past, for roughly around three to four weeks, uh, the review process has been closed, which concerns several developers and uh, subsequently the uh, joy and cheers were quite loud during the keynote uh, when Mark announced that again the review process is open. Meaning we will see more people investing into uh, Facebook instant games. We are already seeing relevant CPMs generated through uh, in-app advertisement and with the announcement that in-app purchases are now coming out of beta, um, I would assume more revenue to be generated on a per user basis compared to the months before and therefore more and more companies trying and testing the waters with the Facebook Instant Games platform. Talk to peers on the ground, they share those assumptions leading to more games in the future, uh, also higher quality games and uh, I'm super excited to see what our own teams coming up with. Uh, Spill itself will launch a couple of games on Facebook Instant uh, and I'm looking forward to be able to share more with you guys in the next coming months. Bye bye.